beautiful souls. I'm just going to jump right into channeling because I was just connecting and bringing through the energy to see what wanted to happen today. And these beautiful beings started speaking through me. And I thought, oh, I really need to be recording now so that you can hear this as well. And so I'm just going to drop in and let this happen. Greetings, beloved creators of the light. Greetings to all who are privy to this message. It is our great joy and delight to come before you. And we say to you, beloved, that it is a deep honor to be present with you in this time of great transition, great transformation, in these last two days before you pass into your year of 2020, your year when it is going to be like you put your glasses on and everything became clear. This will be true for your own personal life as well as true for the disharmonious activities that have been playing out upon your planet. For as you know, much is being revealed that used to be conducted behind the scenes by people that many look up to that they admire, somewhat starstruck even, and you are going to find that your deep admiration was not called for. You as humanity are going to learn that in your folly of admiring people for status and money and prestige and position, does not necessarily mean that they are worthy of your admiration. It is a crumbling in a sense in a new way of all the foundations that you have been living upon in these past years. And this one is to help you see, to help shatter your vision so that as you put on these new glasses of 2020, you see with greater clarity that what you have given your admiration to in the past is folly, is very often corrupt, and the corruption can no longer be hidden. So then we ask you, beloveds, then where do you look? And we say to you, you look within your own heart, and you look beyond the facade of the position that someone holds, the facade of someone holding a position of power, and instead look into their hearts. This is what this is teaching you, that it is time to connect heart to heart. It is time to look into someone's heart to see if they are worthy of your admiration. And it is time to look into your own heart to see where your true light, where your radiance, where your beauty is covered up by societal expectations that are no longer valid as the truth of who you would choose to be, what you would want to become. For indeed, for most of you, you would not want to be caught up in a system that is corrupt and that serves only the self. And we say to you that if your manner of being is only service to the self, much is going to crumble and fall away for you. And then there are those on the other side of the spectrum who have trouble receiving for the self, who are so generous, so giving, and feel so unworthy that they cannot receive for the self or expect for the self. It is like the universe tries to line up beautiful relationships, ease and grace in life, all the needs that one would ever ask for, 
and yet they are not able to receive it. And we would say that both of these ways of being in the world come from a dysfunction of the heart being shut down. For there is much woundedness in your society, that is obvious. And for many it is easier to fix the world, fix the world, than fix oneself. It is easier to save and rescue everyone else than to do the work that would truly save yourself, that would truly bring you back home to yourself. And we bring this up because this is all part of the clarity that's going to come in 2020. It is all part of the clear seeing. You are going to see where you have been fooling yourself and you are going to see where others have been fooling you. Because everything is coming to the surface as truth in these times. And we would say that your greatest task is to then be honest with yourself about where you have been fooling yourself, tricking yourself into thinking that hmm, everything is okay when really it's not. Where you've been wearing a mask to try to pretend that life is grand and wonderful when inside you're falling apart. The greatest thing that you can do, beloved, is allow yourself to crumble and fall, even turn into a puddle on the floor, figuratively speaking so that you can come back to the truth of who you are, that you can drop all the facades, that you can say to heck with what society wants me to be. I'm going to be true and authentic to myself. This is the way into this new world. This is how you create a world full of love and grace, you first must come home to love of yourself. And very often those who are self-serving, are so because they are so empty for love. Don't fool yourself into thinking that that's what it's like to love yourself. That is a facade that covers up the lack of love. There is so much lack of love that the greediness for the self is really a cry out for love. It is a cry out to fill all the emptiness of a black heart. So we would say for you to know a vision of what true self-love really looks like. It is an existence where you do not overextend yourself, you do not overgive of yourself, you have compassion, you have com caring, but it's not from a place of seeing another as a victim. When you are coming from a place of full self-love, you know there are no victims in the world. There are people making choices who do not understand the place and the position of which they are coming from in the world, but you see them as empowered. You know because of your own internal empowerment that they too can find that within themselves. And you know that by standing strong and being solid within who you are, that they can see that within you. You don't feel that you need to rescue them because you know that they are empowered to find within themselves everything they need to be. And until they do, it may look like struggle, but you know that that struggle is the compassion of life leading them to their highest potential, leading them to their own personal growth, which is what we come here for. And so when you're fully loving of the self, you have compassion, but it doesn't look the way that most people think it looks. This one was channeling one time for a friend whose father was dying. And this friend's father was suffering a lot in the death process. 
and it was hard for her to witness her dad going through this. And when this one connected to get a message of what was going on, what she learned was that the soul will take every moment it can get for personal growth and development because that is what you come here for. And the soul of her father, the personality of her father, had not learned compassion to the depth that he had come to learn it. And so in his suffering, in his last days upon the planet, he was learning compassion. We share this so that you can understand things are not always as they seem. And from your human perspective, you don't have the understanding of the greater perspective of the soul that is creating every experience for your own personal growth and development. And when you come to the place of loving yourself and you can say, okay, I accept this. I accept that my soul has created this experience for me so that I can learn and grow from it. Then you soften, then you move into it. Then you accept what life is delivering. And in that softness, you move more and more fully into self-love, self-value. There is no more blaming of the self and there is no more blaming of others because there is no blame to be laid. It is simply an understanding and a knowing that life is always supporting you regardless of what it looks like. Oh yes, and you can argue. It can be difficult. It can be challenging. It can be the death of a child. It can be the loss of your mobility. Things that are very challenging to be with. And we are not minimizing the human experience of these things. That is part of it. In your humanness, you get to really feel it. You get to really be with it. And it is all coming from love. And there are many, many, many who understand on the other side of significant events in their life, the gift that is there. The old saying that there's in every cloud, there's a silver lining. Many come to discover that gift. And it is almost as if your society is holding you back from receiving the gift. You should mourn for so long before you start to feel good again. You should be angry because this happened to you. Don't let society govern who you are. If your heart comes to peace quickly, be a living example for everyone who shares the same experience. This is just one aspect of what it is like to be fully loving of the self. But we would like to move on and allow this one to bring through the light language. And we would say that this light language is to awaken your soul, your self, your being, to be ready to put on those glasses that will give you 2020 vision, to be ready to see the truth, the truth within the world, the truth within yourself, to allow the shattering of what you thought was your reality, to allow the vision of what lies behind the facade, behind the masks that have been so much a part of the dumbing down of humanity, so much a part of the suppression of humanity. This is what you're going to begin to see and what you're going to begin to realize. And it will bring anger and rebellion and suitably so. And beyond that, beyond the human response then, is an opportunity to come back to the self. Nothing is broken in the self when you come back to this place of acceptance of what is and looking for the best, 
looking for the divine purpose of what is happening. For we assure you that everything is working for your highest good, for the evolution of humanity. It makes sense, does it not, that in a time of evolution, there is going to be some discomfort, there is going to be some shifting and change, otherwise nothing would be different. And you are indeed in a time of great evolution upon your planet. The evolution of Gaia, the evolution of all who live upon her. And most incredibly, the evolution of humanity at this time. And so, beloveds, we understand that this message may carry as much mystery as it does clarity. And yet things will all start to reveal themselves. They will start to unfold. And this one is going to be doing more deep teaching on coming back to love, coming back to the self, moving through suffering with a greater state of awareness of what that truly is about. And so more will be coming, more will be offered in this year of 2020 as she expands into her potential and all of humanity expands into your potential in this year of great change and magnificence. And so we leave you now as the ancient ones come through to speak the light language that will support you in opening up and expanding and rising up into your magnificence as you stand witness to all that is falling apart so that a new world can be rebirthed a world that comes from a place of love not from a place of fear and lack as you have been living for eons of time remember this beloveds the new world that you are creating as each one of you returns back to love back to the love of the self and from there there is nothing but love for everyone around you this is what you are moving into this is how you are creating the new world and this light language will be an invitation to open up into that potential and remember that it may mean falling apart falling deep into the very core of who you are it may feel like your whole world is crumbling and falling away Remember, beloveds, it is so the new you, the new you full of love and grace can be birthed. It is all part of the divine plan, all part of the magnificence that awaits on the other side of these years of deep change and evolution and transformation. And so we offer our love to you as you hear this message and you sit in the radiance of our love. We are delighted to have this opportunity to speak to you and thank you for being present with yourself, for yourself, in this divine moment of love acting. And so it is. Okay. I feel I feel the channeling changing within me, the depth of it, as I am also growing and expanding in these times. It's very exciting to be bringing this through in front of you, really, as it happens. And so now I'll bring through the Ancient Ones to offer the light language that will support us in this transition into this year of 2020.
uakla e ich na awa e ik ma awa e uakla na chik na awa e ik na makta ka ki na ikla ich kana apna atka matna imak na iak ta ki akla ich kana uakta he o ik na ik ma alwa e ich kana a makta ka kala ich kana akwa ik ma a ich kana awa e yakwa ich kana awa e ma ta na na i makta ki kala ich kana awa e ich kana Utakai mika awa inalwa e inai inalwa e inai ka o ich kana awa e i akai i ala na ki aka ta we akalwa e ich kana awa e ich kana awa e ich kana awa e ich yakna hi yaktaki yaktaki i ikla ach kana Noa e alama e each can up why e e. Ulawa in a tika tika ho in a tika ah. Yakla e a na chikai ma tiki a wa e e. E noa ana e a chika e a alwa e each can I. Waktika a each can I. E a lalawa e each can aqua e e a naktaka e e ka alawa e each can o e ka. E maktaka hawa e each can I e kla aqua e e can o each kutu. Each kata a yana aqua e to the ancient ones and as always in the beginning it was opening up clearing releasing but at one point I just want to share with you that it was actually anchoring in the Christ energy and that is not a religious thing it's a, a high vibrating energy that we are meant to be carrying. It's our divine birthright that has been denied to us. And so this high frequency energy was being anchored in. They were clearing the, the pillar of light that resides within us all, purifying it with the programming that was going down the middle of our core and then anchoring so that that Christ energy, that Christ light energy can fully enter our beings so that we can more readily and easily stand in the light of the truth of who we are, let go of all the debris of the falsehood of who we have been taught that we are, and coming back to our truth as magnificent divine beings, sovereign and knowing our worth and our value, and walking fully in that worth. So, my beloved friends, thank you for being present with me. 
and I would appreciate liking, sharing, subscribing to support this channel and I offer you the very best as we move into 2020. So much will be unfolding and I'm delighted to be here with you and to step into the expansion that the guys, the guides talked about in this channeling and light language sound of love session. Thank you so much for being here.